everyone. I am James and you are watching Good Times Tech YouTube channel. Today let's see why this Bajaj Majesty sandwich maker is not turning on. And I connect it to the power supply. And I connect it to power supply. And switch on. None of the LED lights, indicator lights close here. So let's check. I have not switched off the cord, the power. Let's check for the voltage first. Be careful as the power is still switched on. We need to take care that we will not touch any of the AC cords. Checking for the main score whether it is main score is doing good. voltage. As you can see, the voltage is good. That is, it is showing to about 220 volts. This words the sandwich maker should work perfectly. It's 220 volts. So now this shows that there is something else problem with the sandwich maker inside. Either the thermostat has gone, has failed, or there will be a thermal fuse. The fuse might have failed that disconnect the unit from means let's remove this power cord before continuing with the pair so <coughs> first thing is I just need to disconnect remove all the three cables temperature fuse okay here is the temperature fuse okay it's not working so this is the plus this is the line this is neutral and this is ground yellow is ground so now when we check with the temperature fuse it's not working so we need to change the temperature fuse but I want to know why the temperature fuse has blown off. For that, we need to remove the other side of the sandwich maker. <coughs> okay. Actually, the function of this temperature fuse is 
it blows off when the temperature crosses the given temperature that is the maximum temperature which this fuse can withstand if the temperature of this unit of this sandwich maker crosses that temperature the fuse will blow to prevent the fire or burning of the device to prevent power as well so now if this has failed it which means that the temperature has crossed the given threshold so if it has crossed then there is some problem with the thermostat and regarding this particular sandwich maker customer told me that they had given it for repair in some place and as soon as they brought it from there it was not working properly it worked for a one time and it stopped working that means the temperature see this is the thermostat the thermostat is not working properly so as you can see the thermostat is very loose loosely mounted see here you can see the thermostat is not touching the panel due to which it can't sense the temperature properly and it can't switch off the work of thermostat is it has to turn off it has to open that is normally this kind of thermostat it, it is in a closed position that is it is it is in a continuity that is conducting position so when the required temperature is reached when the toaster reaches the required temperature for uh, making a sandwich this switch it should open open the circuit so as it has not opened the circuit if it doesn't open the circuit the temperature safety fuse will blow off so this thermostat is not being fixed properly by the previous person who has opened it because of that the temperature fuse has blown so as you can see we need to fix it properly some <coughs> need, need to put some it's a compound further we'll continue i don't have a white color that's not compound i have a gray one which we use for system so i'll insert that itself okay now we need to fix it in a proper way it should be fixed firmly it should not be loose like previous If it is difficult for you to fix it, you can disconnect the thermostat, fix the thermostat and then later you can connect the terminals. it has to touch the surface then only it can sense the temperature properly and switch off by itself okay now i have fixed it and it does touch the surface you can see that it is touching the surface 
So now the thermal fuse should not blow off. Insert it here in this way. Fasten the screws. Now we will replace the thermal fuse. This is the coil, main coil that heats up the It's the main coil that heats the sandwich maker This is the temperature fuse Actually it is going to so I will remove it from here is rotating We need to remove this from this clamp. We have to use this clamping because this is a heating device. We can't solder this terminals. on this side as well. This one is 240, that is 240 degrees Celsius. It is a 10 amp, 250 volts, 240 degrees Celsius. That which means that the maximum temperature this fuse can withhold is withstand this fuse can withstand the maximum temperature of 240 degrees Celsius. 
if the temperature exceeds then this fuse blows blows off so now we will connect it insert it into the same connectors we removed it first from if you have any trouble then lost the whole little bit. Okay. Now we will press it back. Just press it, don't cut it. Okay. Insert this sleeve. Before that, I'll show you the resistance connect continuity. As you see, this fuse is showing continuity let's check the continuity of the old fuse which we have removed as you can see there is no continuity it doesn't show any continuity whereas this new one shows continuity so now insert the sleeve Take this lamp. Here is the temperature fuse. The lamp and fix it. this to the coil but before fixing you need to insert the sleeve okay. here we go take the bottom cover these two points in the grooves with rubber pass on the screws here
board okay. I need to connect this AC means board <coughs> Ground and the phase neutral. Okay, but only the coil it should empty it once. Let's connect the first. I'll fix this. Then connect the mains, easy mains, and check for the heating of sandwich maker. First insert insert the lock here and then fasten the screws. Now I'll connect it and check. As you can see. The green light is going down and the red as well. Both are going. I can smell it. Yes, it is heating up. is heating up so if the thermal fuse or temperature fuse blows off again replace the thermostat as well because it is the thermostat which is not switching off when the, when the sandwich maker is reaching the maximum temperature this extension cord won't uh, support the wattage this sandwich maker requires so I can smell some burning smell from this extension cord I will not keep it connected but the sandwich maker is working fine now as you can see both the lights are glowing indicator as well as the power lamp hope this video was useful for you in repairing your Bajaj Majestic or any other sandwich maker if this will similar kind of sandwich maker if this video was helpful for you kindly hit the like icon share the video and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed thank you for watching everyone have a good time